Moses' mother uh, convinced him that he was the redeemer, born a proper child. So he had the right understanding of the scripture, but yet no manifestation. He had, he had been taught intellectually through a mother who had told him, you were born a proper child, you were born at the right time, and we have a revelation, you're the redeemer, you're the one that's going to bring us out, and, and, and he believed it, and he tried to act upon it in his own accord, amen, and, and he failed miserably, he goes into the wilderness for 40 years, and then God comes to approach him and call him back into his commission, amen, and then he begins to stumble around and say he can't do it and he's not able, and, and there's this whole dialogue with God, and also God doesn't have a plan B here. So God is in dialogue with Moses. You say, why didn't he strike him dead? Because he doesn't have a plan B. Moses is the fulfillment of the scripture. He is carrying within him the predestinated word for that season. But it must move from predestinated word to manifested word. And God has got to get Moses to yield to the word. And when Moses yields to the word, it moves from predestinated word to manifested word. And when it's manifested word, it becomes light, and that light becomes life, and a whole nation is saved. So we realize that Jesus Christ is the anointed word made manifest in that day. So we must be like the virgin, like Moses, like John the Baptist. I believe, amen, I believe that God has called me for this hour. I believe that I'm part, an eternal thought of God that he had of me. I believe that I'm predestined to be here in this hour, and there's a prophecy laying in me, a word to be fulfilled, but nothing's going to happen until I, in my own free choice, my free moral agency, lay down my life and surrender to the word that's been handed, and I get baptized in his name. I dress the way he says. I talk the way he says. I surrender everything, all my thoughts, all my previous understanding of the Bible, all my own wishes. I lay it all down, and I surrender the word, and become the manifested word by letting the word for the hour flow through me. And that brings light, and that brings life. You can see what a hindrance it is to say, I, it, it, to, to, to say that I'm the bride of Jesus Christ, but I want to cut my hair. I want to wear jewelry. I want to wear makeup. I want to I wanna join with systems. I want to have my own way. I still want to do a little side deal on the side. I I think the brother Brandon was right in all these areas, but you see what a hindrance it is because the predestinated word must be manifested word and we become the word when we let the word flow through us. How do we let it flow through us? Be it unto me according to your word. If that's what you're calling for in this hour, that's what you're going to have. That's what I'm going to surrender to I'm going to quit all my little deals. I'm going to quit my associations. I'm going to surrender my own thinking. Because the manifested word is the light of the hour. 